Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for your contributions to my channel. Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. This is going to be a very short video that's going to really kick off our playlist and study on cancer and oncogenics. And in this video, all I want to do is explore three different terms that are really important, not only just for general biology and biochemistry, but also for the study of cancer. So cell growth is literally just an increase in the size of the cell. Okay? That seems obvious, but some people might be tempted to think that growth may involve cell division. No, the growth of a cell is literally just an increase in the size of that one cell. So when you compare the original cell here to when it grew, it has a larger volume, which means it has a larger cytoplasm. It probably also has a lot more proteins and contents in it than the original cell did. Okay? That might seem obvious to you, but cell growth is only an increase in the size of the cell. Cell proliferation is an increase in the number or the amount of those cells. So you could really just think of this as cell division. And so when this cell is actively proliferating, we're getting multiple copies of that cell that are identical to the original cell that was proliferating. So proliferation is an increase in the number of those cells. The third term here is cell differentiation. When a cell differentiates, it literally transforms into a completely new cell type that most of the time has a very specific or more specific function than the original cell. So a good example of differentiation would be of macrophages. Macrophages are immune cells that we find all over the body, and in general, they clean up debris when there's an injury, and they phagocytize bacteria. And they can also initiate certain parts of the immune response. But when macrophages migrate to specific tissues, and they take up residence there, they differentiate into cells that are specific to that area. For example, macrophages, when they move to bone tissue, they differentiate into osteoclasts. And if you know about osteoclasts, they're responsible for resorbing bone, breaking bone down. And there's lots of examples of that with different cell types. And you can see the different cells here with different functions represented by different colors. So for example, maybe this cell differentiates into this dark blue cell that has a different function. Or it can differentiate into the light blue cell, which has a different function than the dark blue cell. Okay? And so on and so forth. I think you get the point. And the reason we want to go over these three terms and really understand them is because when we start talking about cancer, all three of these processes goes haywire. And this is how you get tumors that are clusters of cells that have grown well beyond the space that they should normally occupy. And eventually, those tumor cells can actually spread to other areas. And we'll talk about that in more detail as we go throughout this playlist. So, very simple video, very short, but hopefully it gave you a good understanding of these three terms. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.